Greetings and welcome back to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel that dedicates itself to smartwatches and smartwatch technology available on the web at smartwatchticks.com. And we're here to combat the summer washout. That's right, from Zaples. Both of these products will help you see your smart device outdoors because they have screens that get brighter in the sunlight. We're going to look at both of them, and we're going to start this review with this one. This one is the F50. It says Music Sport with this little slider thing. Smart band, sport, healthy life begins. Oh, you're going to have fun with this one, I tell you. It's got brrrr in icons, and in the back it tells you a little bit more. You've got Bluetooth calling out of this one. Spectral heart rate. We're getting so much oh, new stuff. I love it. Uh, wow. Wow. You can put a micro SD up to 32 gigabytes in this. Wait till you see what it is. I think I'm getting a new favorite. Whoa. All right. Let's open it up and take a look. Oh, oh, oh. But before we get too much further look at all this let's get the pieces and everything out we want to tell you what you're looking at you're looking at this really cool f50 this is a bluetooth smartwatch sports bracelet bracelet with a bluetooth earphone thing that means this will pop out and you can stick it in your ear yet <laughs> zaples bringing us this nice summer treat i tell you all these things have uh screens that you can see in the bright sunlight that's why i brought them in check the show notes down below got a uh, buying link and coupon discounts for you for summertime from zaples and inside the f50 Let's go over it. It's got a detachable design, heart rate monitor, okay? It's an ear-wearing style and hand-wearing style. And when it's on your wrist, basically, you can monitor your heart rate while exercising or resting. Built-in MP3 player that you can load your cards, uh, your songs up on a micro SD card or do it via Bluetooth. Whoa! Message notifications, intelligent reminders, sleeping monitors, speedometer, and USB charging. So it makes it real easy for you. By way of specs, here's what we've got. And here is what it looks like. I've been waiting for this one. I really have. It's Oh, it's got a really nice soft TPU kind of band. It's a little bit on the thick side, but you're about to see why. There's a heart rate monitor poking through, actually. And... Somehow here, here you go, touch, it says touch. Oh, I think that's touching here to change things on the screen, which isn't on yet. What do we do? We pull up on here? Yeah, okay, there's the USB charger, and look at this. When it comes out, you've got this unit that you can stick in your ear. The blood pressure or a heart rate monitor fit through that little square. This hides underneath goes in here, clicks down, makes skin contact to get your biometrics, and yeah, you just pull it out, and you've got the whole band. So we're going to charge this up in a moment, and then we'll come back and show you how it works. In the meantime, what else we have in here? Music, sports, all in Chinese and English. Whoa, they're two separate manuals, it looks like. We've got... Um, QR code you can scan for the app that you're going to be using to tether with this watch. That's in Chinese. That's in Chinese. Come back here. I guess I got the wrong one. English, hello. That looks more like it, doesn't it? All right, there's your uh, scanning QR codes. Bluetooth connection information. And that gets you all hooked up to your phone. Then you've got the icons that you're going to be seeing and the function descriptions. And look at all of this. SD card, Bluetooth, and music off are all uh, shown here with the different icons. Then you've got your heart rate. And again, this is an always on LCD kind of a screen. And then you got the pedometer, mileage that is converted, of course, from your step count and calories burned. And then these icons for the types of calls that you're doing when you're paired, when you're connected, on, off, all that stuff. 
product information, music operation, and other information rounds this whole thing out. On the back, you see what comes with it, the product description. There's where you slide the micro SD card in when you remove that card cover. Okay, pretty simple to use, huh? You've got buttons on the side, shortcut key A and B, that you can skip forward and backward and do all those good things, an interface description, and the different parameters. And finally, how you extract and install the removable innards, the little chiclet that you stick in your ear. So really what we've got going here is a regular Bluetooth uh, headset unit with a convenient ARM-based storage pod that you can just slide it in and a screen that you can use for a watch to tell the time as well as your, your heart rate and uh, step counting. Wow, this is a fun one. All right, let's charge it up. Okay, here we are, all charged up and ready to go. This is, uh, this is what it is, off the arm and with the uh, heart rate sensor showing in there. And again, you just pull this thing right out of its case to bring it out. This sticks right in your ear. It's pretty good, gets in there comfortable. It's not sitting deep in the ear like some of the other like Apple uh, earbud things design, but it does a decent job of letting you hear phone calls and music and whatever you put on your little SD card. Now, I haven't done this yet. See, there's a plastic protector on here still covering the whole thing. I'm not sure if I can open this up under that. Yeah, it looks like I can there and you see that little slot inside look it's trying to get my heart rate this is where i would stick in my uh memory card like so yeah it's in there all the way and then snap it down on top of that oh there it is there you got to get push it way in there snap down and now I have a uh, micro SD card with a lot of songs that I could play on here. You get to those simply by touching the button a couple of times there. Now we're in the song mode and you can press and hold and switch it to a different uh, music mode. You saw that in the uh, little brochure thing about what the different modes are. Uh, so you can do phone calls, you can play music from your phone over Bluetooth, or you can play music off of that micro SD card. Now, let's run through the other things. First touch, second touch. Now we're over here. This is where we get into heart rate. See the little plus there? We'll come back to that. Keep going, hello. There we go, your step count. The uh, apparently distance walked, calories burned. Then you get into this Bluetooth mode of connectivity for uh, working with your phone and back around to uh, your time, your time display. So if I come over here, past here to here, and now I press and hold, you hear it felt a beep and it's going into the heart rate mode. And now it will do um, continuous real time heart rate. And that, as what's coming up, I'm going to bring this one. Yeah, yeah, I know I have the other one on too. <laughs> I love these things. Uh, I'm bringing over the app, the H Plus Watch app. And uh, this is what it looks like in the Google Play Store. You've got these different uh, displays just to show you accumulated data. Now you can see I've got 80 on my uh, heart rate. And I'm leaving this on because I want you to see this stays on a long time on the band. You have this kind of a display for your real-time heart rate graph, uh, maximum and minimum, and then your setup screens and your goal screens. Sometimes it's easier to show you what we've got in the uh, pictures that they provide you. Well, that's enough of these. So let's actually go into the app, which I have set up and logged in, and now it's showing you the times I've worn it and my distance traveled, yesterday's data, and a data summary. Uh-oh. some reason it crashed. Let's go to the data summary again. There we go. This will show you your weeks, months, and years. And you've seen this app reviewed um, in other ones, and I should have a link for you down below that takes you to the review of the app using a different watch with a lot more data in it if you want to like study the app itself. Today is just to kind of give you an overview of uh, what this thing looks like. 
Here's the real-time heart rate. I'm getting zero in here, so I'm not sure I'm still linked to the band. Let me check that. Okay, not sure what happened there, but I just resequenced everything, and now it's giving me uh, real-time in the app updates of what's happening on the band, which seems to be just sticking at 76, 77, bouncing back and forth between those. Uh, and you'll get a graph, as you saw in the other screenshots, related to that. And mm, not much else we can do with that. Your overall settings, this is where you bind it. It's set for auto-syncing. You can set alarm clocks in your sedentary 12 or 24 hour time, imperial or metric. Uh, your social notice is where you have to enable your uh, app in the settings, where it gives you that standard Android disclaimer. And once you have done that, you can get push notification information from all of these apps, from these two things, or if you do other notifications, as every other app you have on your phone will send a notification over here. Haven't seen it in action. I think it's just going to be a little vibration and a symbol. Obviously, you're not going to read them on this little display, but you could get at least a vibration that something uh, happened on your phone you may want to come and take a look at. Okay, here's the all-day heart rate. Screen saver time doesn't apply because we don't have a light in this. That's another little thing. As far as I can tell, there's no way to bring up a backlight, uh, which is going to make it challenging at night to see the time. For some of you would like to, to, to you know, press a button and see that. And, of course, be able to work with it if you want to test your heart rate or whatever. But, well... Yeah, it is what it is, and that's what we've got to work with. If there is a light in there, I'm not sure, because pressing and holding doesn't do it. You do have buttons on the side for increasing and decreasing the volume, or press and hold for a few seconds will skip you forward or backward in whatever you're listening to. Uh, but uh, that's it. You don't have a, a button to bring up a, a backlighting. You can erase user data and do a firmware update and all of that. And then your user information is where you set all of these different parameters. It multiplies all that stuff out to give you your range for your best sport heart rate with this app. And uh, your overall BMI will tell you if you're obese or normal or, or just whatever. And that we've seen in the app before. So that's what we've got here. Let me talk a little bit more about... Um, this overall combination here. If you think of this as an earpiece that you carry along with you, like a Bluetooth uh, headset uh, that also allows you to listen to, like I said, your onboard music or be a music player with your phone. And when you have it snapped in here and on your wrist, you can get your heart rate information. Uh, then you've got a complete little system. But notice this, the bands are removable on this unit too. So if you want to just pop this thing in your pocket or purse and have it available, then you could do that as well. And again, with the full-on memory card in here, uh, you're on the train or whatever, you know, you could transfer over your downloaded uh, e-books, uh, audio books, uh, or, or any kind of music source or concerts or workshops you've been to and be able to listen to those things dynamically changing the volume and going forward or backward right from this little band and oh by the way answer phone calls as well so as a complete little unit to do all of that stuff with an always visible screen in the bright sunlight with the limitation that's the opposite of all of the others <laughs> that you won't be able to see it indoors uh, when will they give us everything anyway uh you got it in this little band from zaples yes indeed another fun little toy to play with it's called the f50 bluetooth smartwatch sport bracelet and look at that it's under 36 dollars 37 probably cheaper with a coupon check the show notes down below Hey, you can't go wrong for something to play with for that kind of a price. Have a look at it. We'll see you again soon with a bunch of more good stuff.